If there's one thing we all know about space, it's that things out there can get big, really, really big. In fact, some objects in space are so huge that they defy any explanation and truly make our human heads swivel in amazement. We are small creatures, so even something the size of a modern skyscraper can make our jaws drop. Now, imagine something that is the size of not just one galaxy, but multiple galaxies bound together. You can start to comprehend just how massive things in the universe can get. But what's the biggest of them all? What makes others pale into comparison? Let's take a look at what NASA says is the largest structure in the entire known universe. Before we get to the biggest, we need to do a size comparison so you can see the true scale of the universe. The largest asteroid recorded is 4 Vesta, which measures around 330 miles across and is located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The largest planet in our solar system is Jupiter, which is about 88,800 miles at its largest diameter, roughly 11 times the size of Earth. But if you want to think about something that far exceeds the enormous size of planets and stars, you need to start thinking about galaxies. A galaxy, of course, is a collection of star systems and everything that goes inside them, such as planets, asteroids, gas, dwarf planets and anything else. We reside in the Milky Way galaxy, which is about 100,000 light years across, but even that isn't considered to be large when talking about the scale of the universe. The largest galaxy on record is IC 1101, which is about 50 times the size of the Milky Way. Now, if you think a galaxy is big, just wait until you learn about a galaxy cluster. A cluster is a collection of galaxies bound together. For example, the Milky Way is part of a small local group that has about two dozen galaxies close to one another. One of these clusters is a supercluster called the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, which is now considered the biggest supercluster and structure in space. It was first reported in 2013 and has since been researched extensively. It's so massive that light takes 10 billion years to get across it. And to put things into perspective, the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. The structure was discovered while a research team led by Istvan Horvath of Hungary's National University of Public Service was studying gamma ray bursts, which are fleeting cosmic events. Supernovas, or enormous stars that burst at the conclusion of their lives, are assumed to be the source of these special, one-of-a-kind rays. Because massive stars tend to concentrate in dense places, gamma ray bursts are regarded to be a useful indicator of where huge amounts of matter lay in the cosmos. The first scan discovered gamma rays concentrated around 10 billion light years away in the direction of the constellations Hercules and Corona Borealis. This thing is enormous. In fact, it is so large that astronomers find it inconvenient. Modern cosmology is based on the idea that when observed at a big enough scale, stuff should appear to be dispersed equally. Astronomers can't agree on the exact scale, although it's definitely smaller than the Great Wall of Hercules Corona Borealis. Because of the great distance, this item must have existed only 4 billion years after the Big Bang. Nothing gets bigger than Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, but there are certainly other objects that come close and put our size to shame. There is a newly discovered space structure called the Giant Arc. The Giant Arc is a vast collection of galaxy clusters and other space objects that spans 3.3 billion light years and covers over 7% of the known universe. The Giant Arc is one of the largest known formations in the universe, and it contradicts some of astronomers' most fundamental beliefs. The massive and spectacular aggregation of galaxies was discovered as part of a larger study to survey the far reaches of the universe. Thousands of very distant quasars, bright, 
compact galactic centers so far away that they appear as star-like points of light in the telescope, are used in the mapping research. Some of the light from these quasars gets absorbed by atoms in intermediary galaxies as it travels through space on its journey to Earth. As a result, even without imaging them directly, we may infer their presence and composition. Alexia Lopez, a British PhD candidate, began to see patterns in the survey data as she reviewed it. It was sort of a hint of something more, according to Lopez. Her PhD advisors were shown the findings. Roger Close, one of the advisors, suggested doing some statistical tests to see if the Great Arc is a real physical structure or just a visual coincidence. These kinds of visual effects are widespread and they're made up of unconnected stars that just happen to make a distinctive pattern when viewed from Earth. When the tests were done, they concluded there was only a 0.0003% chance of the Great Arc not being real. If the Great Arc is true, it will put Einstein's cosmological principle, which has been a central notion in cosmology for almost a century, to the test. In a nutshell, the cosmological principle states that when viewed on a grand scale, the universe appears to be more or less the same no matter which direction you gaze. The principle states that the universe's largest real structures should be no larger than 1.2 billion light years across. This was first proposed by Albert Einstein to simplify mathematical computations, but it has proven to be so effective at explaining the cosmos we see that astronomers are hesitant to forsake it. In other words, the Great Arc will overturn cosmology as we know it. That's why so many scientists all over the world are studying the findings from Lopez to see if she has literally changed the way we view the universe. So far, the science is solid, which means the Great Arc and its startling revelations about the cosmological principle are the new scientific law of the land. If the giant arc is real, it will join the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall and a rising number of other large-scale structures in the cosmos that, when combined, would defy cosmology's mainstream model. When you look at vast enough quantities of space, this model assumes that matter is dispersed uniformly. The giant arc appears to be about three times longer than the theoretical limit. It joins the Sloan Great Wall, the giant gamma ray burst ring and the huge large quasar group as structures that are transforming, enhancing and propelling our views of the vast universe around us. There was a time when the idea of something bigger than our galaxy was unheard of. Then there was a time when no one could imagine something that rivaled galaxy clusters. And now we are at the point when scientists are stumbling upon more and more instances of outer space marvels that make us smaller and the universe even bigger than we could have ever imagined before. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, Make sure to click the video on your screen for more high-quality content about space. I'll see you there.